So I grew up in a small community in the countryside of Jamaica. It's called West Lynn. I knew everybody um, and everybody knew me. Nobody was homeless, nobody was too poor. We were all just one tight-knit community. And then I moved to New York, went to school, then I moved to Harlem. And I was seemingly looking for the same flavor, to literally be at one with everybody like I did in Jamaica. Um, and I found that. I found a good group of people always hanging out, cultural event. I felt welcome. They loved me and I loved them. Um, and everything pretty much just connected. Um, and it really did when I saw this man standing across the road from the Harlem Hospital, 135th Street, docked out in a floor-length leopard jacket, um, a white turban, um, a tutu all at once, and what looked like a wand. I, I learned later that this was Eugene Rounds, and I was fascinated by him. He was homeless. He used to sleep on the corner of the Schomburg Library and I couldn't get enough of him. Every time I went on the subway to 135th Street, I'd watch him. What is he wearing today? What does he have to say today? And that connection seemingly deepened when one morning I was heading on the subway, rushing to work, and I heard him do a version of a song that I sing in a classical choir when I was in Jamaica. It was Cantate Dominum. And it dawned on me, where did he learn this song from? Who is he? What is he about? I'd watch him every day, coming, going. When I didn't see him, I stopped at the pastry cart to ask the woman, hey, where's my friend? Where is he? She said, he'd gone to look new stuff. And then he'd show up two days after with a bird shoes and another turban and what looked like a bumblebee wing. And he was just in all his glory all the time. And I loved it. And I secretly loved him. But I never said hello. Every time he commented on my piece of jewelry, my shoes, somebody's tie, somebody's handbag, a beautiful hairstyle, which is so frequent in Harlem, but I never said hello. I never stopped to have a conversation with him. And this continued for what felt like months or years, me watching Eugene round from across the road. And I came up in the subway, 135th Street, um, another day, um, and there was something posted on the tree right in front of the Schomburg. It was a memorial service. Eugene Rounds was dead. And I felt this huge pain just like erupting in the middle of my chest, what felt like disappointment. I was frustrated. I was confused. I was angry. I was angry at myself. Because here I am coming from a small community in Jamaica that felt so much like home, that pillowed everybody. Nobody was homeless. They all had home and I know what they're about, what they liked, what foods they liked, and I knew them. And I had another opportunity to connect with that, to connect with him, and I didn't take it. I went to his memorial service and there were about 80 people there, so many people talking about him, how much they loved him, how much he was the pillar in this community, standing, erecting what fabulous was and that's all he was and I never said hello. I guess I always thought that I'd have another day, I'd had more time and one day, possibly one day, I would stop right in the middle of my busy commute to talk to him.